Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to tonight's night ending bonus upload. Before we jump into it, a couple links. As many of you all know, I rely on Patreon, PayPal, channel membership, and the merch to help the channel to continue to grow and go. Links to Patreon, PayPal, and channel membership is in the description below. Merch displayed directly under the video. Also, Dogman, Frightening Encounters, Volume 1 through 3, the audiobook versions. They were written and researched by Tom Lyons, narrated and produced by me, Jeff Nadolny. Those audiobooks are available on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes, links to which are also in the description as well. And finally, last but definitely not least, if you'd really like to help support the channel to continue to grow and go, simply subscribe. It doesn't cost a cent. Click that like button, takes half a second. If you don't want to miss out on any of the informative uploads I put out daily, click that bell icon and folks, please leave a comment. Why? Well, because these things really do help the channel to continue to grow and go. And yes, folks, they definitely do matter. Now, everyone, I have taken far too much of your time. Let's jump into this night ending bonus upload, shall we? All right, earlier today in today's bonus, I shared with you a interview I had done with a subscriber out of Sweden. I did a series of four interviews with this gentleman. This is number two. He shares information with us on Dogman Pack in Sweden that supposedly uses portals and has an alpha. I only say supposedly because I was never there. I've never witnessed it. Um, I do take him at his word. So let's get into it. All right, everybody. Today I have a special guest from Sweden, a kind of third upload with him, but it's pretty much the second interview uh, where we have kind of a format to it. And everyone knows and really enjoyed that last video that John Phoenix and I did. John Phoenix, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you for moving back. Yes, it's an honor. Uh, it's 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 great to have you back, and I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, it's it's always nice to talk to you. Um, you I and guess. I had been talking for 45 minutes prior to this, <laughs> and it didn't even feel like it, you know? It's... No. Um, Great mind thing for like. Yes, sir. You, you never know who you come across, you know, on your path in life. That's that's really funny. Yeah, for your listeners, that I and Jeff connected immediately, and we've been talking off air for a couple of hours now. Yeah, yeah, not and it's just today, but you know, these three times that we that we've been spoken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and not just about not just about Dogman, about everything else. You know, oh, no. we've gotten to really know yeah. each other, and I I really uh, yeah. I I appreciate the uh information that you have shared with me about dogman and um everything else so yeah it's been a good chat yes Bo both on air and off air so uh, yeah it's, it's really nice definitely now really quick i just want to uh point something out uh, john phoenix and i did go through the comment section uh john phoenix commented on a lot of people uh, commented back on a lot of people. We're going to talk a little bit about those questions that were um, asked. And John Phoenix had a lot more time than I did he, to go through a lot of these, um, a lot of the comments. But really quick, I kind of want to emphasize on something. I, when John and I are talking, and it may seem like I'm cutting him off, I'm not cutting him off. Uh, it's, we are having an interview and that's kind of what John wanted. He didn't want where I just turn the mic over to him. He wanted to have kind of a formatted interview where I asked questions and he answered. So it's not like your normal interviews on this channel. Um, and I'm only doing it because John Phoenix asked me to do it that way. So, uh, John, but I'm going to turn the mic over to you for a few minutes just so you can, um, yeah. Talk a little bit yeah, and get some also, information out. Yeah. Yes, I will also state that uh, I don't think that Jeff talked over me 
it was vice versa because I get so much information and have so much information that I get a little bit excited sometimes and I actually talk over Jeff. So I hope all of you uh, have, you know, what do you say? Understanding for it because like Jeff said, that I'm, I ask for this kind of format because I have so much information and try to be structured on both my behalf and his behalf so you guys have something good to listen to. That's why sometimes it, you know, is back and forth sometimes. It doesn't matter. As long as the information goes out and you enjoy it, you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Totally came absolutely. And most of you did. Or are, actually. <laughs> A lot of people. Which I've seen it. Yeah, and I will thank everybody who, who actually commented in the, in the sections and, and had questions. I'm not going to be able to answer all the questions today. So this is going to be an ongoing process because each after each and every episode, there will be new questions. Yeah. So the list goes on and on and on. But I, uh, I'm up for it as long as Jeff uh, thinks it's okay. We continue. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So the first, the first thing <clears throat> I would like to say is about a photo. It was not Jeff's fault. It was not my fault. But the setting of YouTube made this photo not the way it's supposed to look like in one way. So I have set up from the Facebook account and put the pictures on that Facebook account. Yeah, I'll share so, that link. The link will be in the description yeah. below uh of yeah. this video so you guys can see i'm only allotted a small section uh thumbnail small section it's nine by 16 so the the picture is a lot bigger than that um i did see a lot distance. of people yeah i did see a lot of people uh made out the face though and could see i saw one lady say that um the alpha had a different kind of uh, structure to its face than most dogmen. Did did you see that comment? Yes, yes I saw the comment, but I'm looking at the picture now <laughs> and uh, from from the YouTube. And the thing is that there are actually some some foliage uh, in front of his face, but you can see the ears and his eyes definitely. And you can see it then in the other picture, the original picture from a distance. Mm. So. Everybody has to have in mind the reason why it's blurry. You're going to see the other picture that we took, just the picture of the bog. And that's clear as day. The reason why almost everything, pictures, videos, get a little bit blurry is because of the energy from these kind of creatures. The vibe, the energy, the, the electricity, you can say. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It does. So even though you have a high tech camera, probably is going to be a little bit grainy or blurry as well. So I saw that also that some people, you know, well, not bashing, but they say, oh, you should do this and this and that. And I actually, or Miss Misha got this question before and Alpha answered with a smile and he said, we are not circus animal. And he has a truth to that one. It's actually on. Um, his terms, of course, and their terms. That's why she asked to take the first and only picture of him. And he said, take a picture just to show that they were there. For me, because she, she knew it. We didn't see, she didn't see him as well, but she felt. Right. Yeah. So, oh, you guys, you have to have that in, cons in consideration of all kind of, of pictures or clips that you see on the internet that you think are authentic i mean there's so many fake stuff out there yeah yeah absolutely and i i've always thought that too uh that there is some sort of you know there's always these grainy pictures <clears throat> or videos and i've always felt like the reason why they are grainy no matter what kind of um camera or phone you're using you could probably have a great phone and get a crappy picture like I had there was a photo that I took at the conjuring house and I have an s22 ultra which is one of the greatest camera phones out there right now um I had amazing photos of of the whole house 
and there's one photo and I, I stopped to take all these photos. I wasn't on the move, but the, the camera phone actually has a correction to it where it'll stop the photo from moving and stuff and, um, you know, try to auto correct it. And there was yes. something in that room when I took this photo that made the whole photo blurry. And it was really yep. crazy. And that was because there's a vibration and energy there um, much greater than we as human beings are able to comprehend. Yes. So. And the thing is that when, when they're standing, it was standing from a distance about 40 yards and there were branches in the way. And like I said last time, uh, there was one picture we were allowed to do. We, we were not allowed to treat them like circus animal. Mm-hmm. It's not that we're going to do a selfie with him. Like say, hey, smile, jeez. Right. Take one for the camera so we can put it up on the internet because some people don't believe us. No. We have to pay, uh, you know, pay respect to them. We have to respect their, their wishes. Otherwise, uh, we will not be able to uh, be in contact with them because everything is based on loyalty with this, with this pack or actually my pack or these kind of dogmen. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is everything. Absolutely. Not even to just dogman or any kind of whatever, no. just loyalty yes. in general. Yes, um, exactly. Really quick. So, so the, 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 thing, the thing is that, um, like I said, that I know how to, to kill them. Uh, I know what they get hurt from. And also I can add that one that uh, I can't jeopardize the security and safety of the pack. That's why... I never reveal, reveal, reveal where um, where they are. Right. And also the same thing with Miss Misha and somebody else who get in contact with them because that's betrayal. And betrayal is punished by death if the task force finds out and come and start hunting them. Like I said, minor errors, corrections, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. you, get slapped on, you get slapped on the wrist, that's no problem. But the major thing, is not to betray the trust. Right, right. The same goes for, for your friends and your families and everything, that if somebody betrays your trust, you get really, really mad. Maybe you don't kill them, but <clears throat> some people do as well. Um, that's also something that you guys need to know. That's why um, I have to choose exactly the things, the information he wants me to, to reveal to you. Yeah. All right. Well, really quick, um, we kind of yeah. talked about the photo. I want to, I got a couple of my own questions. I know that you read through the questions, so uh, you can you can go through that after. But there are a couple yeah, of sure. questions that I wanted to ask you that um, just through our conversation, uh, you had, I know you wanted to address. So I'm just going to ask them first and foremost. The word handlers, you use the word handlers quite a bit, and it's confusing. So can you kind of clarify what you meant about the word handlers? Yes. When I was chosen to be in contact with the Big Alpha, I also have to be proven uh, to be um, accepted by the pack, which are in my vicinity. So um, they have a local alpha dogman here like i said i've never been in contact with him like i have with alpha so i have to uh, have two handlers to see that i was up for the task from the beginning since i was a kid the one thing i experienced when i was a kid that was my handler or my guardian because they pick and choose a lot of people a lot of people and then they see through the years who can maybe stand the task, task task and it gets fewer and fewer and fewer and then they you know reveal themselves to you and then maybe if you are get that scared or, or you they, they, they can sense that if you are up to up to the task if you can stand the heat you can say in one way so that's why i call them handlers because first time or well, second time i met them when i had this uh, tingling feeling back on my neck it was actually a couple of years ago and i I read about the dog man. I didn't know about that they were supposed to show themselves to me. And I got this very tingly feeling back on my neck when I was at the rest stop somewhere in Sweden. 
And I just thought to myself, well, F this, I'm not going to take a leak here. I'm going to the, to the next gas station instead. So they're testing you. They're also testing, they have tested Miss Misha. I'm going to talk another time about the encounters and the beginning for her, the journey for her to actually be accepted because like I said, they tested her as well. And of course you get dead scared more or less if something comes up in your face or you feel something. So it's not like a walk in the park and say, hey, John, we're going to pick him. Hey, come on, join the team. Right. Exactly the same thing as they do in different gangs. First, you are hang around, then you are a prospect, and then you full worthy member. So that's why I said handlers. Okay. And that's the way, that's the way to go. Because they, they, they test your loyalty. They test... Uh, your your inner strength. They test everything, so they can. It's all about you. protecting and, the pack. Yes, and you they can trust. Trust is everything. Loyalty and trust. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That really does. All right. Well, I hope uh, you guys uh, are not confused anymore because that's the, the 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 key, the way to be accepted by the pack. Okay. And. Some, some other time I'm going to talk to you about Miss Misha's encounter with another pack. Okay. All right. And and not all packs are friendly up here at all, but they still obey and respect Big Alpha. That's why I say I am under protection of Big Alpha, but I can not walk around in the woods and do whatever I like because, hey, Big Alpha is protecting me. Right. Same thing uh, with the different gangs. If you F up, major or small... Uh, then you have to pay consequences, which are different, depends on what you've done. So everything makes sense here. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, that actually brings me into my second question. Um, you just said the big alpha, the big alpha, and we are referring to uh, this dog man as the alpha. Well, that is a word that has meaning, which means number one, the one on top. Uh, yeah. Does he have a name? Is there a name associated with him? I mean, I'm assuming that he was born and he wasn't born his name Alpha. That's uh, um, yes. that's his title, kind of, correct? Yes. Okay. The so, thing is that uh, it's a good question because I saw those in the comment section. Yes. They have names, but his name is very ancient and is very hard to pronounce for us. I and Miss Misha, so that's why we refer him as Big A or A or Big Alpha. She explained like this: Everybody just think about Game of Thrones and the different houses, and the different houses they get the name in their world from. The, the alpha who are in charge of the pack. And then they have a first name. So it it is exactly like Game of Thrones. The ho house of whatever, I don't remember the name from the different houses there. So they have names, all of them have names. And they have a language, but they have a language telepathically because they don't speak with the mouth because they can't do it because they are canines in that way. They can grunt, they can roar, and they can, of course, yapping and everything like that. They don't, they don't have a language as we do okay. in that way because it's telepathic. Hmm. Did he ever explain to you, uh, because you had said that the communication is done in English, um, yes, would be in English, yes, sir. Did he ever explain to you why why that is, even though your uh, number one language is Swedish? No, actually, I haven't asked him as well, but I think I have used English very natural since I was a kid in that way. So it just came up, and I also when I, I read it and I when I write also actually answer the, the, the questions and everything, it comes very natural to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why maybe he found out that, yeah, it's easier to communicate in, in English with, uh, with John instead of 
maybe Swedish. Maybe they will come later on. I have no idea, but I think it's it's good because I am fluently in English, even though I have a false accent sometimes here when I speak on your show. It sounds ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. It's, believe me. Um, yeah, so there was the kind of two <laughs> questions that I uh, really wanted to touch on. The last thing before we get into uh the the comment section questions that you went through um was there a chance to ask about the saint christopher question that i asked at the end of the show yes sir um we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into that one okay so we'll take uh we'll, we'll talk how about this we'll talk about the subscriber questions in the comment section and if we can touch on the saint christopher thing at the end of the video that's what we'll do and if we can't we'll just do it another time um we do it another time jeff because miss misha hasn't had a chance to speak with be gay on that particular subject that much okay okay she's very busy with her ordinary life right so uh, right. that's why we have to postpone this one yeah no to no, another show no need to explain it. it's, it's it's understandable no. um people have yeah. lives so you did go through the comment section. Um, obviously, he, uh, John Phoenix has a job, and he's he's actually on vacation right now, so he's got some time to look at things and time to take advantage of things. And um, were there any questions that really jumped out at you that you uh, really wanted to, to address right away? No, actually not. There was, no, there was some questions... Uh actually more questions that i uh, have to look deeper into uh, actually because i've been really busy now so i've actually misunderstood jeff i he said talk to you tomorrow and i thought hmm wasn't it that, uh, thursday we were supposed and then yeah maybe he meant friday because thursday was maybe he's busy with something else and with his ordinary life so actually i have been not so prepared as i was supposed to be because i thought this one was supposed to be on tomorrow <laughs> sorry Oh, that's fine. So that's if, fine. if you find questions or something like that, just fire away, Jeff. Yeah. Um, I have some not some notes here, so I can go through them, but then it's going to be a little bit on and off to, on different topics, if it's okay with you. I, yeah, I, uh, whatever I you want. Whatever, you. Yeah. whatever you want. Whatever. One question was about reptiles. What do, we th what do they think about the reptiles? And they are enemies because they're aliens and reptiles actually did the same thing with dogmen as they do to some people here on earth that they abduct them and do experiments on them you say on yeah and also do experience um actually here also down on earth and they try to uh, extinct them and this one was thousands of thousands of years ago um, because they don't want the word to be spread that they did such horrible things to, uh, to, the, to the dogman race. So that's why they are fighting uh, reptiles because the reptiles are, as well as some other crypt some cryptids, uh, enemies to the human race, even though there maybe are some aliens that are good ones as well very many now you had said um that in the list of questions or list of information that you had given me uh you had stated that um the dogmen or the, the 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 clans that live in europe closer to where you are live in deep cave systems uh, but of course, they sleep above ground when moving. Uh, yeah. And in in America, it's even if you don't believe in cryptids or reptilians or whatever, it's pretty much known that uh, that reptilians dwell under the ground. Um, is that another big reason like they just is it just because they're mortal enemies and they're aliens or is it because of occupation space and stuff like that 
Yeah, and also uh, uh, that they did what they did to uh, to the dogman. Okay, and you know they, they they never forget. You know they never forget. They're very vindictive, even to other cryptids or other species and everything. Yeah, yeah. Now, so, so when... that's why there are enemies in that way, and you know you have big cave systems all over the world, especially in the U.S. and also up here, of course, because it's the Scandis. So that's why you never find bones. That's why you seldom see them. Of course, the the major population, and because they can hide and disclose very well. Yeah, was the um because we or is that pardon. Did I misunderstood? The, sorry, did I misunderstood the question? Did no, I, no, you were good. You were good. <laughs> um, but you, you had said that what they did to the dogman. Now yeah. we have reptilian. There's there's like a uh, a story or kind of a lore that when the reptilian came here from outer space or wherever they came from. Uh, they were in search of gold and they actually had enslaved a human, a lot of humans in the California region to Mm -hmm. uh, mine gold. And that's kind of like why humans in general have a ingrained sense of gold being of value. You know, little kids even know that gold is a precious metal and they don't even have to be told that it's almost ingrained in our in our head were they slaves or something for the reptilians were they enslaved i don't understand what they did i'm going to check that one up because this was brand new short information from uh, miss misha and she said that alpha just told her just a little bit and she left the subject because she felt that was not something that he wanted to share with us yet Okay. So she said, oh, I got this from him at the moment, but I didn't want to push the subject because I f- felt that that was something that he was not maybe comfortable or allowed for us to to know. Yet. Okay. All right. She may, she, maybe she's <clears throat> going to take a talk to about it a little later on, but at that point, she just, she just left the subject. Right, right. Because oh. it's, it's interesting, of course, because we, we are trying to to, uh, to lay the puzzle, of course. But like I said, sometimes we don't get the information, even even though mainly she asks due to various reasons. Right. Yeah. OK. Well, you know, and like you said, um, there are certain things that that can't be answered um right now but you said you had some sort of a sheet of stuff that you could talk about right now or something yeah yeah sure okay uh you know they have uh, extra bone structure uh and certain areas on the body are enforced like uh, kevlar like a kevlar armor okay especially i'm not going to tell tell you guys where but I can tell you two things: uh, the chest, chest plate, and it's soft but still hard. You can say just a, like a body armor of, of Kevlar underneath the skin, of course. And also, they have a plate above their genitals because otherwise, rogue ones they can actually bite down there in that region to bite the testicles off. Right. And that's when two alphas clash. It's not everybody, but still two alphas. Because it happens. They also get challenged. And big alpha said that the civilized ones, they don't do that cheap trick. Right. But like I said, the rogue ones or the more ferocious ones, they do. So they have an extra protection um, down just up beneath the belly or the belly area you can say if you talk in human terms okay yeah we had talked about that and you know mm-hmm. we had said i had brought up the fact that you know uh species of um 
monkeys, like chimpanzees, they will even, you know, even if they're rogue or what, they, they almost, if there's something challenging in alpha, um, to rip off the genitals of, of a male is, you know, just a, a show of power. And, um, I found that pretty interesting that, that it was designed that way to kind of protect almost, um, I have, I, I've been looking at the comment section a little more too right now. And yeah. there's something that you and I talked about <clears throat> and a person said, uh, that you are talking with, or they feel that you, because you are talking with a dog man, that you are talking to evil and yeah. which is kind of strange if dogmen was brought here by a higher power uh you want to elaborate on that that little thing because yeah. we you've elaborated on that for me and we've spoken about it can you kind of share what you shared with me on that yes of course and correct me if i if i'm wrong here yeah uh the thing the, they are not evil because they are here to protect us the pure ones of course there are evil ones that from other planets who looks a little bit different from the ones that are it's actually is on the picture like the big alpha and so on and so on you know it, all around the world they have different variations of of dogmen which are the ones who are protecting us and if they were are evil then i wouldn't be standing here that have been devoured on a bog outside stockholm for one thing or even killed when i was a kid or when i was a young boy or in your home or in my home exactly so that's rubbish in in my opinion there right. are of course evil dogmen but they are the demonic ones right so you you they are not evil in that way, but you should, of course, not challenge them. Challenge them. They can be very aggressive when you shoot at them. That's the least thing you can you should do is actually aim at them. And then I could come back to to the enforcement of the of the body, because sometimes people think that they hit a dogman, but Alpha said usually they don't because they get uh, so scared. So they aim and shoot, and they think that they actually shot a dogma or two and sometimes you know the impact the same thing if you wear <laughs> wear uh, a body armor if i stand if you have as a body armor of kevlar and i'm standing in a couple of, of yards away and i fire me with a high power gu uh, gun and high power bullet you fall down of the impact but it is the vest who, who takes the hit not the body the same thing with dogma if you have high power high power rifle and you shoot at him and maybe they fall down or you know in quotes get unconscious or whatever hmm. okay. so he said he said that yeah usually humans miss because they get so scared for all the right reasons i mean it's not every day you see a 10 foot werewolf standing a couple of saying that i um <laughs> It's of, of course, I understand those ones who shoot at them because they th you think you are in, in, in very life-threatening situations. So I don't look down upon them who, who do this towards dogmen. Of course not. Right. Because I wasn't there. I don't have the, these uh, people's feelings. Of course, I would do the same. If you have a rifle, if you have a gun, and you see something coming at you, doesn't matter if you're if it is a, a human or, or a, a ferocious dog or, or a lion or tiger, elephant, water buffalo, whatever. You protect yourself and you of course you shoot if you if you can if there's no no where else to go you can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so that I totally understand them. I, I don't I don't blame these these persons, but he said that the absolute least thing you shall do or the last thing you should do is is to shoot at them. Then you have a lot of happy, trivial people. And yeah. the reason why 
they are fighting with hunters. I mean, not the task force. Hunters is if you hunt them for sport, then they become very vindictive. And that's why some hunters die because dogmen protect themselves. Even though I said they are not evil or they are this and that, when shit hits the fan, they protect themselves and they they kill or neutralize those ones who are hunting them. And they know that when they do, there are going to be consequences because then the different forces or authorities, the secret agencies, black operations, then they come and search for them. But it's reversed because if they feel threatened, they attack as well. They don't have any guns, but they have the, the body, the, the, the claws, and they're fast. Yeah. So it, it, works both, <clears throat> it, it works both ways. I, have, I really think that uh, a big difference is that um, the dogmen in America seem to be a different breed of dogmen yep. that are over there. Our dogmen here yeah. toy with human beings, uh, have almost virtually no respect for them, and um, there's been attacks, obviously, on livestock and stuff like that. So I think that's why we view them as evil. And of course, with the red eye shine, anything that has red eye shine, we automatically assume that it's evil because red and dark you know you just uh it kind of goes hand in hand with the devil um so i think that's that's a big difference than than you know the dogmen in europe to here we don't have quote unquote the pure pure blood ones um which i don't exactly i don't understand what the difference of pure blood to non pure blood dogman is if it's uh coming from you know uh you you, you uh, like i said last time you can actually compare it to settlers who came from ireland great britain scandinavia to america right so it, it, was, it was a wild west that's you know, where when, they when came they... from they came from sweden norway that's where the dogmen originated from is Yes, the civilized. Yes, they were civilized here, and they're still civilized, and that's why the latest trade in history was one thousand and three. Okay. They so what about long before with with other civilizations? So you can compare it to people coming, you know, during the seventeenth century to the to America. Right. I've seen Yellowstone. I, not Yellowstone. I've seen uh, Billy the Kid, for instance. You know you. You are civilized in, in in New York, for instance. You have the police, you have the task force, you have everything and everybody. Well, I, I wouldn't right. call New York City and, civilized, and, and, but no, 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 <laughs> no I'm but, just but kidding. Just compare, no, yeah. I, I know, I know. Yeah, I, yeah, just to compare that that they have a civilization there, and then you go out, you know, in the Midwest, and it's like a wild west because people are shooting each other mm. over mar uh, land, over uh, some some stuff, you know, uh, like argument. Okay. All right now so I'm not look upon it like that. With this next question, I'm not I'm not uh I'm 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 asking a question because I'm curious and and I want to know I'm not targeting you, so please don't think I'm targeting you, but no, you no, said no. Oh, no, no. you said that they originated from uh Sweden, Norway area, but in in 1003 is when the kind of fall with human humanity stopped. But if they originated from that area why thousands of years before that time were were there dog-headed humans spotted in egypt um india and stuff like that Wait, i mean it, yes that's kind of confusing yeah they originated the the, the civilization here the pure ones they originated from here and that was thousands of years and the dog-headed people down there they are a little bit different you know you're they're looking like anubis there's not the same species you can say per se so there are variations and those ones who are, was uh, were in in egypt they actually didn't come from the same place as 
the so-called pure ones up here. Okay. I because have... they have different, different, different ears. If they are similar, like you have in, in, in um, USA and, and Scandinavia and maybe Russia, they're a little bit different. You know, they're these European dogmen, apart from maybe down, those ones down south in, in, um, in Europe and also America. And South America is a whole another ball game. So you can look upon the races as actually the human races. Right. Some are dark skinned, some are white, some are pale, some are are uh, oriental. And there are seven different species and they are coming, like I said, they're coming from different places, but they have the same purpose here. Okay. And the, like we talked about before, the, the ones who are, are the, the locomotive of, for them, they were situated up here and still are, of course, um, here in Scandinavia. That's why the fallout was, the last fallout so far was with the Vikings. The fallout with the ones down the Mediterranean and Middle East, that was way before. Because of, like I told uh, all of you, that they didn't get paid. And those civilizations down there, they thought that they were superior to mankind. Mm. Okay. so that's why the fallout was way before in other part of the world than up here it's isolated up here in one way yeah it definitely always been, is it... always always been isolated part of the world Scandinavia I look it up and I can say Sweden is not Switzerland so don't confuse it with Switzerland Switzerland is below Germany. So if anybody want to check out the European map, just do it, please, because then you maybe see what I'm talking about, because maybe you have to fresh up your memories. Yeah, Not everybody walks around with the, the, the map in their head. Right, right. And a lot of Americans don't realize, uh, you know, I mean, we may know the land geography of of America because you know we we don't really go to Europe too often so you know uh, n not many yeah. people are familiar with where Sweden yeah. where Sweden is um, it's kind of it's kind of landlocked it's 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 between yeah. it's a peninsula Norway it's a, and it's a huge uh, peninsula yeah I've got a good question yeah. um, from a subscriber yeah. and yes um, it, it's it's a very good question. There's a lot of a lot. Actually, it's a it's multiple questions, but um, I'm just going to read it really quick. And I think I think you can touch on it because I can almost touch on a couple parts of it. But uh, I want to know if possible to make an attempt to make peace with these dogmen. I don't agree with any entity being mistreated. I have love for all life. I do not wish to have controversy with anyone, if possible. Can this be achieved? Also, why has their existence been hidden from us? Why would the Vatican do this? What purpose does all of this being hidden serve? Definitely, what can be done about the aggression of some of these dogmen attacking and devouring human? Or is it truly dogmen? Could it be demonic spirits instead? Um, I think, I mean, j just off the top, uh, I think this person's referring to the Americanized dogmen, um, as yeah. a whole different, you know, thing. Uh, we had talked yeah. about the Vatican, um, yes. privately as well. And yeah. I don't know you if know, that's other, something other that you want to touch other, on. Other people, <clears throat> sorry, not to talk over you. Uh, some other people on different channels has only touched the subject accurate. The reason why they don't reveal the cryptids, it's of course money and inc uh, income. It's about the logging industry. It's about the tourism. It's about you know wildlife where people go out in the recreations area or, or nature reserve. Is billions of dollars who get lost if they reveal, oh, by the way, you have a couple of werewolves running around here. 
And the reason why they are aggressive is territorial. Mainly, they get pushed away from their territory, you know, and expansion of 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 new uh, areas for the humans. That's why they get very aggressive, and they can have a blood feud with um, some people for generations, like the siege of Locker Draft ish. And the reason why they get so aggressive and they are vindictive in generations is because they don't know if the next generation or their generation after that one will come and hunt them down. And in the beginning, it was actually the dogmas fault because they, they were territorial and aggressive. Of course, they maybe get shot at, but then it changed into that they have to back away and they want to regain their territory and they got hunted down, fired at, so that's why you have, may have, in certain areas, feuds that are lasting for generations. And, of course, nobody backed down. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking and for a question. The, just... the, yeah, the reason why authorities also don't want to re reveal the existence of them is because everything comes to its peak of, like I said last time, religion, power, and money. They can't reveal stuff for us because then it would be some, not anarchy, like I said, it's not anarchy, but chaos. So many people they need to have a faith. They want to have a faith. faith. They believe in a faith. And when things are not there, when things are reality and, and you, re you reveal this information, then some people deny it, some people take it under consideration, but your whole picture is changing forever. Right. When you get new information that you believe in. So that's why the different major religions, they want to keep, of course, the people who believe in them because of power, because of money. The Vatican is the most powerful and has the greatest resources for thousands of years. That's why they, that's why they have the vault. That's why they were so furious with Jan Brown's the, the Da Vinci Code, for instance. Yeah, 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 and we talked about that. Um, yeah. Th one thing I wanted to comment on really quick, too, is... Um, the the questions and and I know you were very excited about this, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm going through the questions in the comment section and they're yeah, questions sure. that you answered, sure. um, to you know each person. Now I kind of what I what I wanted to do is just get a list of questions and then ask the questions aloud and have you answer them. Um, that way, because you had answered like one person would ask a question and you'd answer that question. But not everybody could hear that answer or see that answer. You know what I mean? So I'm yes, going to go through. Um, there's a couple of good ones that I just just, just found. Uh, and it, it's, how do the alphas from different continents travel to meet? Yeah, you know, the Vatican, they send a plane. And they meet up in Washington, D.C. No, I'm just kidding. They go into other dimensions. And meet up physically. Like I said, picture a corridor. You have lots of doors. You open up one and you close the other one. So that's why they meet in, yeah. in person. And they're so they're not, not meeting that, on Earth. They, they, are they are they meeting in a they, different they, they're meeting in a different dimension, but they also can meet here on Earth. But they don't do that often. They don't want to use that kind of ability that much because they have also some rules and regulation how to use their power. Hmm. So that's why they, it's easier to, to step into another dimension and meet over there. And also, of course, it's for security reasons. He said no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you've got, 
different alphas on different continents, how would yes. they travel and not be seen? Um, so yeah. just pop in and you're somewhere else meeting with the other equals. Yes, because uh, not everybody are friends with everybody within that community as well. You know, there always someone's striving stri striving for for power, like humans. So there have been altercations now, as we speak up here in Sweden and Norway. Alpha said, and they have some problems, major ones and smaller ones, with young upcomers who want to to. Actually, they do some kind of mutiny, and they failed, and it was some of them who got executed, and some of them got, you know, what do you say, they um, they were chased away from the pack, so they, they became the rogue ones. Okay. You say expelled, right? Kind expelled. of like excommunicated right or expelled, yeah, yeah. Yeah, expelled from the pack, and those ones are the ones who are forming maybe a new pack okay. and that kind of pack are the ones who who attacks the cattle and if you're alone you become crazy yeah so you have a case now up in norway that uh one hunter she said i don't i can't understand there are so many elk you know, who are, get killed and they only eat the soft tissues and but wolves don't do that one wolf pack and i said to her <laughs> it's not wolf there are not wolves who who, who do that then I didn't tell her the things I know. Right. Right. So, so we had we made a clash here. He said just recently. Um, so that's why they also need security. The ones they have to watch over the back on and off. Of course, the same thing, as I said, the same thing in a gang, some or someone or somebody, they want to overthrow the power. And then we can jump into the question of why it's only the alpha couple of mates. That's also for security reasons. The, the other one can, can mate, of course, if they're younger ones, but then they have to leave the pack. Because otherwise, it can be a threat. Look upon the courts. Look upon uh, all the fights between within the court. You can see oh, Game of Thrones is also a good example, but in reality, that you have a, a half-brother who, who are envy and want to be the king, become the king. And then he and his wife maybe have four sons and you have only two sons and they kill each other. Like this has gone on for mankind forever since Cain and Abel, Abel, sorry. Cain and Abel. Yeah, sorry. I pronounced it wrong. You're, you're fine. <laughs> you don't need to <laughs> apologize. Um... <laughs> I always do when I when I uh, when I speak like a dork. <laughs> no, you're fine. I I have high standards, yeah. So it it sounds more Swedish than actually it sounds in reality. When when we meet, you're gonna see that I speak better than it sounds through the through the phone. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean your English is good. You know, you 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 have very good uh, English, and you have a very good in understanding of the language. So I, I, I you don't you. have to apologize, believe me. No, no, I, I, I think I, the guests or the, the audience don't think that you have bad English either. I mean, for someone from Sweden, <laughs> you certainly speak well. Um, Thank you. And, and the thing is that when I talk to Jeff off, off air, it's, it's so much easier because then it come, becomes a flow. But now I have to think first and form the sentence in my head before I, I I, I speak out. That's why it's a little bit delayed. That's why it's a little bit mm and ah and eh. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's why um, that's why there are only the alpha couple who mates. So nobody can come and put a knife in your back when you're an alpha. So the beta couple should be loyal, of course. They they are, are, are loyal. They're supposed to be loyal because the family, they are, you know, the beta couple, the 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 uh, beta, beta female. Of course, she's not inbred. She's from another pack. Right. So there will be no inbreeding. But they have to be loyal. Of course, the the the, the prince and the princess have to be loyal and, and swear to the king. Same thing. And it's, it is logical when you explain it like that. Yeah. Now here's a here's a speaking of language. 
Do yes, they sir. have do they have a do they have their own language? Um Yes sir. They have. Okay. And I can't speak for 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 all the different species uh, uh, because some of them are you know in quotation marks lower race of dogmen. Right. That was going to be my next but, question. Would would the yeah. alpha obviously the seven alphas or whatever um all have to have the same kind of language because they communicate, they meet up and communicate. Yeah. But would like a, uh, let's say a, a small pack of dogmen from Sweden uh, yes. met up with a small pack of dogmen o- over in, I don't know, the, the, the tail side of Russia over in Siberia, would their yes. language be similar? Yes. Because okay. they speak telepathically and they are in connection with each other, not maybe all, you know, they like Omega, but still though the, the leader of the pack, they are in constant contact with each other, mm-hmm. if needed, if they want to. They can of course switch off like a radio. It's not that they are going around. Oh, yeah, I wonder what Bill do today, or does today, or and and uh, the alphas, the big alphas, they are, they can communicate with each and every dogman. On Earth, okay, and also with each, with each other, like switching out uh, a short wave radio, long wave radio, like hey. But you know they 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 are keeping themselves to their own areas, but if needed, they can communicate. Understandable, um, yeah. We like you said too. Uh, you you, I guess kind of we both kind of misunderstood. Um, the days and stuff. We're, we're about an hour in and there are some questions that um, you had seen that you needed to ask and wait for an answer from Miss Misha and Alpha. Uh, yes. So we can always do another show um, in the future. I know you've got some still some time left uh, before oh, yeah. you got to get back to work. So, imagine, imagine it's <clears throat> almost be in one hour on air. It's incredible. Yeah. So, time flies. Why don't we um why don't we call it a day and that we'll wait a couple of days. Um I'm gonna go through some other questions too and even the ones that you've answered because like I said, uh the the people that you answered they, they only they know the answer and unless the people, you know, went yes. through the comment section. So I'll go through and write down the questions. Um, but then we'll wait uh, for a couple of days for the questions that really had to, um, that you'd get from Alpha or Miss Misha. How many minutes do we still have? Um, we got, we got some time. We got some time. Share away with whatever you want to share, my friend. Yes. Now I'm going to jump to different subjects subjects yeah. um dogmen and also bigfoot they see infrared light miles away so that's the point of of getting a, a game cam or trail cam because that's why they rip them down because it's part of them miles away it's like you know during war you don't lit a cigarette in the middle of the night same thing here yeah that's just like in um, World War One and Two, you, you'd use a match yep. to light all your buddy's cigarettes, so there yep. wasn't two matches, you know, lighting. Yep, and they respect the electricity for two reasons. They've seen fallen wires killing some of the or one or more in 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 the back, and also this kind of knowledge is, of course, handing down to the, to the young ones, like. You know, they do in the animal kingdom, if you say they're not animals, but you can understand what I'm thinking of. And also the high power rifles from the force. They have great power in this kind of weapons. So it's based on some sort of electricity. So that's why it's almost like a science fiction when they kill a dogman that way. Like Stargate Atlantis, or I haven't seen Star Trek, but uh, the same thing with the Star Wars. I've seen Star Wars the first three of movies at least. So that's why they have great respect for electricity. Okay. 
and they want to stay out of the light of course if you have i heard that people are getting harassed uh, they have uh, put up some really big floodlights and that's a very effective way to keep them off coming knocking on the doors yeah and also some reports they are that they have in inca- people have encounters close to the railroads and that's a very good reason or logical reason because a train they hit whatever comes in their way so easy food of course if they hit deers some other animals then they become scavengers and of course it's very easy for them they don't have to run and chase deer if they the train kills a, a couple of deer so a herd of deers was standing on the on the track mm-hmm. hmm. free meal easy meal yeah yeah they don't have to waste the energy to go and hunt no exactly they play smart yep if, if somebody had me a big mac while i'm going out for lunch that thank you so very much and i go back and work a little bit later on i don't have to stand in line right Right. They switch easily between bipedal and quadruple. Very easy. Okay. And it's true that they pop the joints. So you, people who heard this popping so it's noise uh, sound, it's uh, accurate. They look upon werewolves, like I said before, as uh, abominations. Because uh, werewolves have more human legs and that's dabbing with black magic. Um so they just kill them they see them as an enemy as an abomination those kinds of beings sorry i just gonna cross off yeah take your time yeah and the structure between alpha was somebody who asked and i think i answered that one within this um answer about the pack and why the alphas don't allow other couples to uh, to mate. In the structure between alphas, of course, they get challenged by some, and some are very loyal. Some working together if they have different territories but close to each other, and some become some sort of rivalry. And that's why the when it happens, big alphas step in and say, "Hey, enough!" Just like a like a gang. Like again. Do you have any more questions there uh, while I scan it through? I'm I'm looking my through notes. right now as we as you go. I've got one. <clears throat> um, I was I was looking through uh, the comments and I had purposely put an upload up this morning. Uh, to kind of be a, I guess, starter point. And yeah, with the, and someone actually asked the question, um, and I wasn't aware yeah. of it, with the angel uh, protecting people in America, Brad in America, and he had called it a hellhound. Um, and, uh-huh. and you had commented on that question as well. Now, is Alpha aware that the there are angelic beings hunting hellhounds out there? And how does he feel about that if he knows? Or has he yes. not had that opportunity to ask? Yes. Yes. Um, he is aware of everything. So... He is aware about those stuff as well. And because they are put here on Earth to protect us, they're of course happy to have assistance from angelic beings and the hellhounds. They are demonic. They come from another place, come from another source. That's why, of course, all assistants are looked upon as, thank you very much, then we don't have to do the dirty job. Right. So they are aware. Okay. Maybe they, they don't cooperate with, with the and angels and, and other good things around us that actually protect us in that way because they are, like I said, they are on their own in that way. They have their own task. 
it's not that Bigfoot and, and Dogman are working together, you know, actively. But they do it on their own part, like I said, with the, the, with the crawlers on the rake. They know that the other ones uh, are also killing them. And the same thing there. Oh, thank you. Then we don't need to do it. It's your shift now. We go over here and, and eat some, some reindeer, or some moose or some deer. We're taking a lunch break now. So, so that's good. And now I come, now I, I just realized what I was, was supposed to say, guys. In Maryland, you have uh, Goatman, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of, of uh, there's a hot spot for, for Goatman in Maryland. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the reason why he is roaming around that much is, have you heard about a lot of uh, encounters or attacks from Dogman in Maryland? I haven't heard about almost any case. And I've been, you know, scanning internet for years and years and years and listen to all the channels. Yeah, I can say a handful, then, if that. Yeah. So I have to ask Big Alpha about that one because I'm curious about the answer myself. I know that down in Texas is, is also the Goldman Bridge, uh, the, the Goldman Bridge. But I was actually thinking about hmm, Maryland. No, I haven't heard that much. Also, Montana is also another ball game. And the reason why a Goldman can roam around as he or them can do is probably that there's not many dogmen around. I, because I, it's their past. I can answer that right now is yeah. I have a file of subscriber because when okay. a subscriber will send me their encounter, um, I had to put my headphones back on because I just ran over to my uh, filing cabinet. When a subscriber sent, sends me their encounter and I will print it out and I file it state by state. I just grabbed oh. my Maryland folder and there are four encounters out of Maryland. Um, okay. If I grabbed any other state, there's at least 10, you know, uh, so Maryland is not, like you said, hot spot for goat men. Uh, goat men has, if you look up Maryland and type it in goat man, and I'm curious about that goat man bridge. I think that the one in Texas, uh, that more or less, I think is just a name for it. I think that there's a yeah. demonic entity that is seen that is mistaken for a goat. Uh, because of yeah. so many, so much tragedy. I know that if that bridge, when you're on that bridge and you take it to uh, behind off the road, there's a full sized Ouija board um, painted yeah. on concrete behind that bridge. And it's about <laughs> 20 feet by 20 feet. It's just gi gigantic. And people try to summon things there. So I, I, I don't think it's a uh, physical cryptid. Yeah, I no. don't think. I think it's a manifestation that is spotted in yeah. in Texas. Yeah. Then, then you also have the aspect you can have manifestation, or, or there, there actually are demons who pose as as goatmen, and then you have goatmen as a cryptid, which actually are a, not a part, but they are demonic, but they are flesh and blood ish in that way. So that's also an interest aspect of it uh definitely i can just see here now from one thing to another that lore finisher i don't know if it's lore is a he or is she but because i haven't come over the cross uh, I, the, the name lore is it the yeah a it's a she it's a, a she it's a female it's a she yeah 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 uh she wrote that her comments were gone and i also seen that one that some of the comments are disappearing. And she asked me about uh, a transcription on those questions and answers. And I said, I don't have the time to sit down and send it to each and every of the listeners who want it. Yeah. But she had a good reason why she asked for it. So Lore, if you hear me, uh, check my email and send me an email and I will help you as long as, as far as I can, because this is within my, task also to help you guys as much as I can with certain things as, as uh, that, yeah. if you have a good reason for it. Unfortunately, YouTube...
goes comments like people are subscribed and unsubscribed to the channel by YouTube and the algorithm and stuff like that. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, why some comments disappear and don't disappear. You know, it's, it's strange. I, I was looking for a comment earlier that I had seen and couldn't find it because it was actually a good question. Um, for some reason, YouTube, I don't know if it's multiple or if there's multiple kind of comments from a same subscriber in one comment section that it'll just limit it down. Um, yeah, maybe, but yeah. Uh, so I, I, I just say to all of you guys who's, who's listening, please don't send me email just like that because I don't have the time. Well, your email is not to available answer. to share right now. So that nobody can No, That's good. Because yeah, not, this is, uh, so well, this is a special thing, special, not occasion, but she had a good reasons to, to ask me that question. And because she had also a lot of questions and, uh, please, if you have questions just put them in the comment section because i scan through it and jeff scans through it it will take a little bit of time to answer all of them and like i said we i gather them and see if uh, if uh, there are actually same questions so maybe you personally don't get an answer f from me but you will get an answer because maybe you are four or five six people who, who ask the same question right yeah so no offense folks don't take offense that I don't answer with a with a long answer. Just maybe just comment and say thank you, just to show and a thumbs up to show that I've read it. And like I said, I mean, appreciate all the questions. And I was raised good, so that's why you you say please and thank you to everything. And you are respectful. As long as you are respectful to me and Jeff, no problem. And if you disagree, no problem at all. It's a matter of opinion. And if you can add something to it that I haven't think thought of, or, or actually should ask Big Alpha about, no, or Miss Misha, no problem. I don't take offense about that one. Right. Yeah. No, I mean we had talked about that earlier. And, yeah. And uh, it does fire away people. Uh, it's no problem. Absolutely. All right, we are coming up on time. Um, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day today. Why Thank don't you. we, um, what we can do is how about in a couple of days, I'll touch basis with you and, yes. uh, we'll kind of, I'll f write down a bunch of questions that I'm scanning through. You can, and if you have time to ask Miss Misha or Alpha and, or have time to do a follow up show. We can do that, um, but I, I want to make sure that we have um, a lot of the questions that you can't answer on your own that you had to ask Alpha or Miss Misha and give them time to, to answer it as well. So we, yes, thank we, you. we can do maybe a follow-up in a week or so. Um, no rush, you know, because it's on their time, not not ours um, and not mine. Exactly. Um, so, you know, but it's always. We, 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 sorry to interrupt. You. No, no. Sorry, what are you going to say? Yeah. Uh, if while we, I'm waiting for answers, why I gather all the questions, I can also do a show with the encounters that I have and Miss Misha. I can tell you the story if I'm allowed to, but I think I am. Yeah. Uh, how it started for her, and then we have crossed out that one off the list because yeah. now I have an empty list on my hand. I know that I've, I've sent you two more pages, but my immediate list here is uh, crossed off and that's why I'm now have, uh, have the time to, to, uh, to go through the, the questions okay. more because this was the basic information that I was supposed to, to give out to you guys who listen. And also of course to Jeff. Yeah. So, it would be smoother and smoother the more, the more time or the more times we we, we uh, answer questions and have a, have a show. Yep. All right. That sounds good. So we can... Uh, well, Perfect. I'll touch basis with you in a couple of days uh, and see if you're free yep. for that encounter. And then, you know, whenever, whenever the questions um, 
that pertain to Alpha or Miss Misha, we, we can wait on those and um, respectfully wait on those until yeah, they have time to answer them. So Yeah, they will. Yeah, that would be perfect. And I apologize if somebody take offense that I wasn't prepared today, but I actually actually misunderstood Jeff because he, we were chatting away um, local time. It was midnight, and you say talk to you tomorrow, and for me it was seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Right. <laughs> so that's why I wasn't that prepared. I was supposed to. My intentions was to be more prepared. Yeah. Well, is there anything that you'd like to say? Uh to end this video wrap it up with no uh, everything's good and i'm looking forward to all the all the questions that you have and also to answer the ones that you already wrote, uh, wrote to me yeah yep all right my yeah. friend well don't hang up because i want to okay. talk to you for a few minutes after it's always a pleasure yes, having you on always a pleasure for me to come out on your platform thank you very much jeff and thank miss misha and alpha for uh, yes. allowing us to hear this information and let them know that I appreciate it and that all of the people that are commenting appreciate it as well. Yeah, uh, I can tell you for sure before we hang up is that Miss Misha has been so busy with her ordinary life that she hasn't had the chance to even listen to the two first segments. That's so as busy as she can be. That's why... Uh, I haven't talked to her in that way, but she's going to also comment and correct me if I'm wrong or also add some information that I maybe, oh, I don't know. It's not maybe. I don't know. Right. Yeah. All so right, my that friend. Will be perfect future. Yeah, perfect, my friend. I'm looking talk forward to, to, I'm looking forward to the uh, next upload with the encounters. So I will, Great. Me I will too. talk to you soon. All right. Don't <laughs> hang up. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this night-ending bonus as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. I'd like to thank you all for supporting the channel. After all, it is your support that keeps this channel growing and going and what makes it a place where people can share their ideas, theories, and experiences without ridicule, without judgment, just simply treated with the respect that we all deserve. Thank you. Please stay safe, happy, healthy, and ever vigilant, keeping an eye on our children, pets, family, and friends. These creatures are real. They are out there. They are definitely dangerous. Share this information with the people you love and care about, and it may just help save their lives someday. Until next time, never stop asking questions, never stop searching for the truth, and God bless.